It's English time! Today, we will have a story about the blind black carabao. In this story, the characters are carabao, cat, dog, and goat. Once upon a time, there was a blind black carabao who lived in a rice field. His friends were a healthy cat, a rich dog, and a selfish goat. One day, the blind black carabao found a sack of rice. He had an idea of saving it. He then asked his friends, Who will help me pick the sack? Meow, not me, heard the healthy cat. Arf, arf, oh no, not me, barked the rich dog. Meh, not even me, shouted the selfish goat. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm came to their place, the blind black carabao asked his friends, Who will help me carry the sack? Nobody answered him. A healthy cat turned to her chair. A rich dog hid in his house, and a selfish goat ran in a distant place. Then I will, said the blind black carabao. So he carried the sack of rice by himself. When the storm ends, all of them were very hungry. The tired blind black carabao called and asked his friends again, Who will help me eat the rice? Meow, I will, purred the healthy cat. Arf, arf, I will. Bark, the rich dog. Meh, I will, shouted the selfish goat. No, said the blind black carabao. I will. Then he began to eat the rice. His friends were swallowing their saliva while looking at him eating the rice. He felt pity, so he shared his food with them. Meh! Thank you, Carabao. Even though you are blind, you are so hardworking and generous, said his friends. Arf, arf! Without you, we will all die with hunger, barked the rich dog. Meh! That is why you are the favorite animal of the Filipinos, shouted the selfish goat. Meow! Next time, let us help Carabao to find some food in order for us to live, purred the healthy cat. I know you can also do it, so let us help one another, said the Carabao. The next week, a healthy cat found some fruit seeds. They all volunteered to plant. When days passed fast, they happily harvested and shared the bounties of their harvest. And that is the end of our story for today.